And it is. It's all of DK's grapple percents. <laughs> What in the world? And on stages too. <laughs> Particular stages and the statistics like behind each stage and like what percent DK would win at. That sounds like a troll website, but I, I'd love I didn't believe it, but I'm like, you know, this man really put in a lot of work. So insert his link here because he definitely dedicated a lot of his time um, to the website and the character aside from being the best Luigi in Canada. Oh, and I, one thing I like about this matchup is Fatality, he's extremely good at uh, recovering with Captain Falcon. Probably the best of recovering. Obviously, he's the best Captain Falcon, but probably the best of recovering with him too. But Luigi, can destroy that with the down B. I want to see if Poke's able to get the read or if Fatality's going to make him look silly. I'm wondering. I'm wondering. Usually in these type of matchups, Fatality likes to hold down by the ledge when he's recovering so that way he's not found in a pretty bad position where he's recovering below the ledge. Mm -hmm. um, holding down allows him to go past the ledge and use Captain Falcon's command grab into recovering and displace his opponent. No matter what, I'm excited to see this. I feel like someone's going to get destroyed. It's either going to be <laughs> a close set with Fatality or Poke winning, or honestly, I think that Fatality just might destroy. It could go either or. It could yeah. go either really fast, or this set is about to take forever. Uh-oh. And that was a lot of defense coming out from Poke. He actually just held shield, right in front of Fatality's face for almost a second and a half. But that dash attack, interesting. Yeah, catching Fatality's uh, jump there. And this is the very scary position that we were talking about, too, especially against Luigi. <laughs> you can't get away from the ledge. Okay, he finally gets away, and he actually puts Poke on the ledge himself. And Poke opting to recover high there, using the platform to his advantage to mix up. Wow. Okay, this is exactly what Fatality means. It means Luigi in the air. However, neutral air comes out so fast from Luigi that it might be hard for Fatality to combo. Oh my goodness! Wow, no faltering there. And Poke did not even expect to feel like he needed to air dodge there. And Fatality immediately going for that back air and taking his stock relatively early off the side. Oh man, I, I was not expecting that. I, it felt like, oh okay, I'll just recover back to the stage. I was not expecting Falcon to jump off like that. However, it could be since because Poke had recovered high from oh before. Goodness. He had gotten him with a back air, but it doesn't matter. Poke looking at him straight in the face and managing to already take Fatality stock with only 54% on him. These guys are getting KOs that wouldn't normally make sense. And that was actually almost another one if he had sweet spot that back air. This is what we were talking about. This could either be a very explosive match. <laughs> Ooh. Did you see how low Fatality went? He actually, if he got nipped by that down B, just a little bit. He would have been bit. done. Yeah, done at like zero. Ooh, this might be over. Oh no, nothing coming out from Fatality. A lot of respect uh -oh. coming from Fatality. Uh -oh. And uh -oh. this is the Luigi cycle uh -oh. of the hitbox. He's uh -oh. right here. He does have a jump, manages to save his jump and make it back onto the stage. That was clean. That was a really nice mix-up with that back air. However, folks saw it coming, and now it's pretty much even. We try uh -oh. to do the rising downer there to possibly catch a neutral getup. Wow, fantastic patience coming out from Fatality to do that run-in. He should be able to recover, but that is going to be a risky move. Ooh, back air. Gonna keep looking for it, possibly. Yep, looks like it. Notice patience that we're seeing right here for Poke. He did not want to overextend, but the town tilt with the horizontal knockback. That move actually is ridiculous by the ledge, especially if you catch the two frame. Yeah, especially. And I think one thing that happened there was Poke, he spaced an aerial and he was holding back to like keep continue spacing. And that down tilt hit him away. Exactly the area where he was DIing and it made it hit him get KO'd even faster. So if he DI'd in, he most likely would have lived that. Unfortunate. That was a close match. That was really close. It was. I, again, like, these two characters in general are so explosive that it could go from 0 to 100 real quick. Yes. Definitely a fan favorite, I'd say, for people who usually watch this game. They love to see Luigi, love to see Falcon. Let's see what happens. Looks like they're going to Battlefield based off that song, and yes, it is. There we go. I love these neutral air combos. I rarely ever see other Falcons do that. They just do neutral air, neutral air, neutral air. They did three of them in a row in the last game. Yeah, Fatality loves carrying his controllers across the stage. And speaking of which, Luigi loves doing the same with his grab combos into down air and air. Uh -oh. There we go. Wow, did that up air. See, that's risky again. Luigi can neutral air out of that, and there it goes. And there's the holding down by the ledge there to prevent Poke from trying to edge our game. What? What percent was that? That move kills extremely early. Goodness gracious. I know it was near the ledge, but I think that might have been like 50-something. And two up Bs in a row. A third. A third up B. I, am, I feel so disrespected right now. <laughs> <laughs> I feel disrespected for Poke being disrespected. Another backer coming out. Will he go crazy? No. A little risky hanging below Poke like that, but still making it back into the stage. And he's noticing he's getting to Poke's head and... Great retreat from the ledger, preventing him from getting hit from the downward angle 
forward smash. He keeps getting him with that back here. That one little back here, there's another one. He got him with like five of them, and Fatality gets a two stock on Poke. Unfortunate for Poke, but there is still loser's bracket for him, so maybe we'll see him bring it back, but Fatality showing why he is a top 40 or even top 30 player in this video game. Not as close as I thought originally, but